If you clicked on this video, then you're probably already aware or becoming aware of just how diverse a practice that rope flow is. It actually can slot into so many different areas and aspects of life that it's quite unique and different from most other physical practices. So I thought I'd make a fun little uh, video just talking about my five best times that I like to use rope flow. And I'd be interested to hear your thoughts too. So in no particular order, starting off number one with what is probably one of the most obvious uses for rope flow that I use it for, and maybe you do too, and that is for a warm up or a cool down. So often when, sometimes I'm not even sure what I want to train on a specific day, I'll just start with some rope flow, get out the rope, maybe put some headphones in and start flowing on some grass, I'm, I've got a nice patch of grass out here, or at the gym, just start the session off with the rope, not even necessarily choosing a pattern, just swinging it and just kind of letting the rope lead the body. And then I might, you know, if I get into it and I feel like, oh, I'm actually want to get into some more rope flow, then I might choose a specific pattern, maybe something I want to work on, maybe some traveling drills, maybe there's something I've seen on Instagram and I've screen recorded and I'm scrubbing through it really slowly to try and work out what the person's doing that I'm watching. But essentially, I just start off with some rope, start off with any session. And this has worked so well for me when, you know, even on days when I'm not sure that I want to train, I'm not sure what to train, like I say, I just start swinging the rope and the rest starts from there. Number two then, using rope flow as a movement snack. Now, this could fit in kind of anywhere. You could have a snack for breakfast, a snack between work, fitting in, you know, three to five minutes of rope flow in the day. You could use it in your morning routine when you get up to wake up your body or you sat at the desk for a while your friend goes for a cigarette break, well why not have a healthy version of a cigarette break? Take the rope out, move your body, move your spine, move your arms. There's a reason I've got this right here, this little diddy rope, little mini off, off cut. Sometimes I'll be, I'll be sitting here and I'll have an idea or I'm actually working on a pattern at the time and I just wanna try it while I've got my little diddy. You know, if you've got a normal rope, you can just tie a load of knots in it and make it kind of, housebound or house friendly. Think of a much better movement snack than swinging an old bit of rope. The rope's pulling on the body, gently pulling on the body. It's got the figure eight flush going around all the joints, gets the brain on board. We're using the left and right hands, which wakes up the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Number three, some of my favorite all time memories of enjoying rope flow have been when I'm out traveling. There's one moment from a trip I did in 2020 to uh, Rwanda and Uganda. And I remember we were driving across country from Rwanda to Uganda, long drive. And I was just really into rope flow at that point. I think I've been doing it about six months. I had my wet method rope. And anytime we'd pull over for a pee breaker or just a pit stop, I'd get out the rope and I'd be looking at a different view from roadside, you know, kind of dirt road and just banging out some dragon rolls, flowing with the rope. I've got other memories on being on trips poolside on a nice holiday, hotel pool or in a villa, in Ibiza, in Italy, just swinging rope in the sunshine by the pool. Really, really good memories of that. You're on holiday, you're in a new environment, new stimulus with the same old piece of rope, swinging it around, same body, new horizons, new visions in the eyes. It's just something that really, uh, livens up the practice of rope flow and makes it feel fresh just because with a fresh environment it makes it feel fresh and because the rope's so versatile and compact and packable you can pack it in just a small carry-on bag take it anywhere you go and have that joy of movement gift that the rope brings you anywhere in the world number four and on that note of you know swinging rope in foreign destinations on beaches really that leads me to have to say Similarly, but in nature, rope flowing in nature is definitely one of the best places at the times to rope flow, whether you're on a hike or you're going for a, a cold water dip in a nice local lake. You know, one of the reasons I moved to this house that I'm currently in now, rented here because I've got access to the River Trent right behind my house and a nice patch of grass. So I can just rope flow there in nature, go for a dip afterwards go on, on many hikes in the Peak Districts, Lake District, Snowdonia, top of the mountain, or not necessarily at the top, but you find a, a lovely little nook and cranny 
we call them tarns on the hillside, little lakes that are kind of on the fells. A fell is a cross between a mountain and a hill, which we kind of have in England. And then these tarns just kind of form in the little nooks and crannies of the fell, which a tarn is a lake on a fell. And just a nice spot like that where I've just got the rope out, had a little picnic break maybe, had a little movement with the rope. It's just a great time taking the rope. There's just something with that and obviously with my with where the rope that's kind of our, our brand vision of where it started with me swinging rope out in Cheddar Gorge. So yeah, number four, couldn't recommend enough. If maybe you're a gym rat, a gym head, or you just do it in your garden, really recommend taking it on a hike find a nice vista we call it rope with a view and just doing some rope flow in nature number five probably the most uh, soul nourishing time to rope flow and can also be done with the last two in nature or on holiday is to do it with friends on a trip last year i went to scotland with a few of my friends shout out rob dom and brian and all of us are into rope flow, we're all at different stages of our rope flow practice, but there's moments we're around the campfire in the morning, in the evening, we just break out our ropes and we just practice. And sometimes it might be a 10 minute session, but sometimes you go deep and an hour later, you're still practicing, helping each other with patterns, coming up with ideas, playing sword fighting with the ropes. Um, rope's such a good tool. If what you know, patterns that you know yourself, you're able to teach others. There's no real barrier to entry with teaching, coaching someone with rope flow. If you've learned it yourself, you can teach someone else. So doing it with friends, sharing the gift of rope flow, sharing patterns with each other or working on things together, offering each other feedback is such a nice gift you can give to each other. If you can see where someone might not be getting it right and you can give them that and they're open to that, it's a wonderful thing. So five, by no means last or least, it's possibly the one of the best. They're all, they're all good reasons, but rope flow with friends, couldn't stress to try and do this enough. I know not everyone's up for rope flow, but if you have, if you're lucky enough to have friends that are into it, then congratulations. <laughs> and the more people that we can get into it, the more we can spread this practice, the more people can enjoy rope flow. Okay, so those are my five favorite times or places, moments in life to rope flow. Are they similar to your list? Is there any that I've missed that you would add? Is there a moment you use the rope in your day or life that I've not said here? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to rope flow or you've just been dabbling using that old bit of skipping rope or a bit of makeshift rope that you've done at home and you want to go a little bit deeper into your practice, then I would recommend checking out wearetherope.com. I'm the founder of Wear the Rope. We've got rope flow ropes, proper ropes, and rope flow courses for complete beginners. And then people who've been practicing a while, I just recently released Fluidity 2, which is 30 more than 30 more patterns, all presented in a very nice way through an app or if you don't like using apps you can get a raw pdf as well otherwise if you like this video please give me a like it helps out the channel drop a subscribe if you want not that it makes a difference these days because the algorithm will just feed you <laughs> it knows what you like regardless whether you subscribe either way perhaps i'll see you in the next video godspeed